look at them. Beautiful people, right? Hanson, beautiful, amazing. Let us pray and ask for God's blush. I would have never thought 22 years later I'm still here. I am still here. All right, then let's pray. Please bow your head, uh, my wife. No more talking, bow your head. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day. This night, may your Holy Spirit fill this place. The Spirit of God will permeate throughout this entire building. The tireless work of the teachers, the principal, the front office manager, and every day through our chef, Kevin, and many other supporters and sponsors. Because of them, we're able to be here year after year and to educate these amazing children, the students that have made their way through the front door every day diligently. And tonight we pray for you to bless our event this graduation night god we thank you for your faithfulness you have supported the school all by yourself through the last 22 years so faithful we thank you for that in jesus name we pray amen, amen. amen. bethany thank you when we were in l.a she had these little comments that just made me laugh and so I'm gonna present this firecracker award to Miss Angie Navarrete. Yeah. This next award is for someone that has radiant energy because she has such a youthful spirit and just always knows how to make people laugh and keep it fun. Miss Brooklyn Washington. This next award is for someone that just knows how to make people laugh and is friends with literally almost everyone. I don't know one person who she doesn't say hi to. Miss Jocelyn Brahma. <laughs> Putting in that work for over 150 community service hours. Mr. Brandon Gomez with the industrial For another quiet and shy student that knows how to come loud when it's her time, who strives in the academics, Ms. Pima! <laughs> this next award, who just knows how to make people laugh. Um, you can be having such a bad day. This kid comes in the room and I'm already laughing. His name? Mr. Ethan with the Charismatic Award! I've never seen someone more loyal. He's always has people's backs, letting people borrow his phone. Mr. Samuel Mendez! This next award is for someone who is very wise for their age. Every time I hear them talking, I learn a little bit more. Miss Natalia oh. Yane! <laughs> the guy who came in with only two months left of school and was truly the plot twist of the season. One of the funniest, most adaptable kids I've ever met. Coming from somewhere that is very different to the Tenderloin. Mr. Feedy! Yeah. Award! And last but not least, another hardworking woman. She may be quiet, but she's sassy, and she knows how to stand her ground. Miss Valerie Lopez! And 
now I'm going to present honor roll certificates. So this is for students that had a 3.5 GPA for the last quarter of SFCA. So first one, Ms. Brooklyn Washington. Yeah. Our next student, Mr. Feedy. Feedy, Feedy. All right, for our next one, Miss Peeba. Last but not least, Mr. Brandon Gomez. Congratulations to the class of SFCA 2023, and now we're going to show a video. many, many hats, um, who took on the grand opportunity of teaching this year, who also attended SFCA as a kid, and fast 
forward, graduated from Berkeley, and yeah, that's right, and is now not only running our city kids um, operations, but also taught math and science this year, as well as just being a mentor, a leader, and an advocate for these students. Can we give it up for Mr. Gabby? Okay, everyone, um, this is going to contain a lot of inside jokes that I've come up with with the students, so if you see them laughing and you don't get it, that's how an inside joke works. So, throughout the year, I've wa often walked into class saying I'm him, aka that guy. I'd like to say I've always been him. And in my lifetime of, of being him, I was once in the exact same position you kids are in today, 10 years ago. I graduated from eighth grade at SFCA, just like you. Wait for it. And if you had told me then I'd be back a decade later giving a speech, I'd believe it. I'd have probably done something noteworthy by that time. If you told me I'd be giving the speech after having done a year as the eighth grade teacher, I'd call you crazy. But oftentimes, the craziest experiences are the ones you're most grateful for. If you can ask any of my kids, oftentimes I have told the class, I've given them a whole list of things that they should be grateful to me for. I've often told every kid, I fed you, I made you laugh, I protected you, and I teach you math. But as I look back on this year, I realized I have something I want to thank each and every one of them for. Please bear with me as I reverse it, and I go down the list of things I'm grateful for. To feed you, our plot twist. <laughs> Feedy, thank you for reminding me that keeping a smile on your face can make any day better. And that you don't need a specific reason to smile. Simply being alive is enough reason to smile every day. May you forever keep the smile on your face. To Angie, thank you for demonstrating the power of being careful and measured with your words. You may have not talked often, but whatever you did, I always knew you have thought of what you would say, and it would be meaningful. Have you personally made jokes about me? Yes, she has. <laughs> but all of her jokes were good jokes because she thought of them. I pray that you carry this thoughtfulness with you each and every day of your life. To Ethan, thank you for showing up every day with a tremendous amount of curiosity about life and school. You may have asked me questions that were extremely off the grid. But the thing about Ethan's questions were they always forced me to think about not only the answer to his questions, but also how I related to those questions. Your questions got me to think about myself and the answers actually enriched my life. I hope that you always keep questioning and keep wondering because it makes the world better, Ethan. To Brandon, thank you for exemplifying that your choices for one day, one week, or even one semester don't have to be your choices for the rest of your life. Your resiliency and desire to make different decisions about your life was refreshing to see. Please continue to be resilient and never let less than desirable results in life keep you from your end goal. To Natalia, thank you for always being willing to speak your mind. Your insights and remarks help make our class much more interesting every day. Sometimes I didn't always appreciate what you had to say about me. But looking back, you always said what was needed to be said, even if it was about me. 
I want you to keep that spirit up because we need more people like you in this world who don't run away from their, their opinions and how they really feel. To Brooklyn, first of all, thank you for being willing to always give me at least one twist or braid. My hair was nappy, but you always worked for me. <laughs> Secondly, thank you for being unapologetically you. No matter the situation or the environment, you always remain Brooklyn because you were so secure in yourself. I urge you that in this world of people putting on facades, that quality of yours always stays. Keep it up. To Samuel, thanks for reminding me of the fact that confidence always has to look it doesn't always have to be loud. You never had to announce yourself to the room, but I always knew you were there. This shined through when I would call you to the board to display how to do math, or even during class discussions when you've talked about life in general. I could always tell you were confident in who you were and what you had to offer. Please remain confident and don't let anybody or anything shake that. To Valerie, I personally thank you for your unique sense of humor that you brought to the classroom. You often were able to turn around a day that was pretty dry with your funny jokes. You were witty and funny without the need to cross the line or be inappropriate to get a laugh. The world will always need people like you because life gets tough and laughs are necessary. To Jocelyn Ramos, <laughs> the simplest way to describe you is that you wear your heart on your sleeve. And the biggest lesson I learned from Jocelyn is that emotions aren't something to run away from or be embarrassed about. Oftentimes, emotions are actually who make us who we are. I count on you staying this way because it truthfully is refreshing to see somebody who wears their heart on their sleeve. Last but not least, I have to thank Pima for showing me the importance of keeping the main thing the main thing. As a first year teacher and a bit of a goofball, I myself would get carried away with frivolous discussions in class on a couple things. Pima was always there to say, when are we gonna start class? <laughs> or, Nadu, I need your help. These constant reminders help me stay on track and also help the class as a whole. Pima, you at a young age have already shown a great understanding of your priorities and keeping first things first. I know you'll maintain stability in life and go far. As you can see class, I am eternally grateful to you for the lessons each and every one of you have taught me. Lastly, I'd like to leave you with this message. Throughout this year, we always talked about who was the NPC, who was the main character, and who was the side character. And here's what I realized. I came to this epiphany last night. The thing is, no matter how much we joked, nobody was an NPC and nobody was a side character. So a side character. None of you. The thing is, you actually are all main characters in a much, much bigger script and story than SFCA. You are main characters in the script of your own lives. And with the knowledge that you're main characters in the script of your own lives, I want you to treat it as such. Make big, bold decisions with God's guidance. Keep your faith in Him and understand that you are the main character and you are the author of your own story and you're at the center of it. I want you guys to know that you're the main character because it's your own life. And I can't wait to see what all of your stories that end up being with you as the main character and center of it. You're all main characters. Thank you.
right side. To finalize that you are now moving on from eighth grade into ninth grade, you are going to be moving your tassel from the right to the left. So you may do that right now. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you.